Hey guys, it's me. So, <laughs> as many of you know, I am a big Kook fan. Go Kooks of Washington State, whoop whoop. And um, we had the game last night, and yes, uh, Wazoo killed. <laughs> um, but there's something else I wanna bring up with that game. Why? Um, well, sorry that. Um, that night before the game, they did a tribute to one of their players. Um, his name was Tyler Helinski. He was 21 years old when he passed away um, due to a brain injury, brain trauma, whatnot. Um, it led to him taking his own life. And I just feel so much hurt and compassion for his family and for those who knew him. So that's why I want to bring something up for you guys today. Um, in my personal opinion, suicide is the hardest death to overcome and get over. It leaves his loved ones behind to ask like, what did I do wrong? Was I supposed to say something? Did I say something wrong? What could I have done? so that he would still be here, or she would still be here. And it hurts. I, I've never lost anyone to suicide. I do know a couple people who have attempted it. And I just, it really hurts to know that, you know, someone could lose so much hope. And I just, I just feel for their families. And so, September is National Suicide Awareness Month. And I'm planning of posting this um, probably tomorrow or today, uh, which would be September 10th, which is National Suicide Awareness Day. Because I stand with those who have lost someone to suicide, and I stand with those who are thinking about it or have attempted it because what I believe is there is hope you might not see it you might feel like that you're in like this dark den that you're in this like, this this place you're out of reach and you feel like you just can't do it you can't you, you can't make it but I believe there's a light in that darkness that's gonna grow and grow and grow with the love of family and friends and people around you. If you feel like that you can't have that hope, I want you to talk to someone. Don't, don't keep it to yourself. Talk to a friend, a family member, a pastor, a counselor, a teacher, anyone. They will, they will love to listen to you and help you and comfort you and try to find ways so you can get the help that you need. Every 40 seconds, Someone succeeds in their attempt to take their life. Please don't do it in that 40 seconds. Because you have so many people who are going to miss the person that you are. This person with this meaningful life, this loving life, who cares for people. Who doesn't want to see anyone get hurt? Those who make everyone laugh, yet they can't laugh themselves. Who doesn't feel like that no one loves them? I might not know you if you're one of those, but I love you just like anyone else. And I want you to stay strong and to hope. In the description below, I'm gonna post a couple phone numbers, and that also includes the National Suicide Hotline, and it's free, it's confidential, and there are people there who are going to care for you and to talk to you. Please, get help, because you are me, you are loved, you are important, and there's a reason that you are here. You might not know the reason, but there is a reason. 
I just wanted to say that to you guys today. So I love you and please stay strong, okay? Please talk to someone. Bye. Love you.